Hi, it's Tim Heidecker, the creator, executive producer, writer, star of Decker Unclassified. You know, I was making On Cinema as a host of On Cinema, my show where we review movies, and the thought occurred to me, hmm, you know, maybe I can do as good a job, if not better, making movies and TV shows and things like this. Tim has ideas for what he wants to see in the show, but he can't really do a script. He thinks uh, having a couple ideas in your head is writing a, a movie, and that's not the way it works. There's a lot of blood and sweat that goes into it as well. So I took my knowledge and made Decker the web series, and it turned into a, a huge hit. In the beginning, you know, we started with Decker Classified, which was a self-contained story about Jack Decker being double-crossed by his inside source, Abdul, who has a terrible plot to actually blow up Central Park. Abdul! No! Decker! There's one thing you didn't count on. What? Is that I never let America down. <laughs> and Decker Classified is really where we see the beginnings of the Decker model, why it works so successfully. You have, of course, Jack Decker from CIA, Special Agent Jack Decker. Mr. President, let me be clear. We do not negotiate with terrorists, and we do not surrender. Do you understand me? You have Agent Clinton, who's sort of that code breaker. God damn it, Kingston, can you get in the case or not? What are the numbers? Kington is the master of codes, and you'll see time and time again that he cracks these codes that no one else can crack, and that's really what makes the series come alive. Without Kington, you'd have no Decker series. And then, of course, you have Davidson, who really represents that weak, spineless uh, Jimmy Carter type of president who doesn't inspire anyone. I, I should just resign and make you president. And that was such a huge hit. We took that success and transferred it to something we couldn't even believe we could be so big with an idea. And the second season was Decker, Hawaii, uh, Port of Call. That was a 20 episode series, it aired every day. And of course with Decker, Hawaii, we find Jack Decker trying to get some R&R, &R, trying to get a little vacation in. But while he's in Hawaii, Taliban have invaded the island, taken President Davidson as hostage, and are planning to take over the entire United States. And I don't want to give the ending away because you might have not have seen uh, this series. I guess one way of putting it is maybe there isn't anyone you can trust. Of course, with special effects, Hawaii takes it to the next level. We're working with some of the premier technology experts out there to create effects that you haven't seen before. It makes you feel like you're really there, and the technology really makes us able to tell stories that we were never able to tell before because uh, it's so advanced. You know, my problem with working with Tim is that he often will bring issues that he has onto the set and in front of the camera. And burning my collection of valuable videotapes at the conclusion of season two was a disgrace. And I'm glad that this time around we're sticking to the Stop. script. With season three, Decker vs. Dracula, I actually wrote and produced and directed and starred in and took total control over the whole series. And the reviews and the numbers were the best that they've ever been. And it's something I'm very proud of. You know, after coming back from Hawaii, we looked at what we wanted to do next, and it was pretty simple to me. Uh, it was, let's take um, Decker and take it to the next level and take it to TV. Let's make season three as good as it can be, and, you know, thanks to the Tom Cruise Jr. Memorial Arts Fund. Now, I want to talk about the elephant in the room. No, but it's been a tough couple of months Six months or so since we lost the little TCJR, Tom Cruise Jr. My son, Tom Cruise Jr., who was about two when he finally passed from a variety of illnesses. And uh, we had our doctor, San, try to save him, and he was unsuccessful in that, give it all he had. Uh, because of the uh, life insurance policy that I had on him, we were able to create the Tom Cruise Jr. Memorial Arts Fund, which is a fund set up to memorialize Tom Cruise Jr. and to reward projects that combine um, an understanding of storytelling with conservative principles. And we looked hard, far and wide and found that uh, Decker was the uh, story that needed the fund the most.
Yeah, when Tim told me that he had the money now to do another season of Decker, uh, I was immediately interested. This season of Decker, like all of them, uh, has something for everyone, whether you're a Bond head or a Hobbit head, a Trekkie or a Star Wars freak. Uh, we've got it all, and I think this is one of, if not uh, one of the top two uh, seasons of Decker thus far. After you watch the first, second episode, you're going to go outside and wave the American flag proudly on top of your house.